All right, take a deep breath because what we're diving into today will tug at the very threads of our belief in the crypto revolution. Ever felt the rumble of a storm on the horizon? That's what Ripple in the UK and Ireland feels like right now. I can barely scroll through Twitter or YouTube without my heart racing. Everyone's buzzing about it. And it begs the question, are we on the precipice of something monumental? As always, welcome back to Moneyside, your go-to spot for everything XRP related. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for up to the minute updates on all our XRP discussions. Enjoying our content? Show some love by hitting the thumbs up and share your views down in the comments. I saw a post by Cowboy Crypto, and while I usually take that site with a pinch of skepticism, come on, how many times have they left us questioning reality? There's a resonance in this news that's hard to ignore. Ireland isn't just an isolated player, it's the key that could unlock Ripple's potential throughout Europe. Stuart Alrati's words on CNBC echoed like a promise as Ripple's ambitions unfold in Ireland. Remember those whispers from months ago, the murmurings about the Central Bank of Montenegro partnering with Ripple? Remember the surge of hope? Montenegro may not want to sit in ECB meetings, but they have their eyes set on a larger prize, inclusion in the Eurozone. And now with Cindy Young's revelations, Ripple's intent to flourish in the UK and Europe post their US victory fills the air with palpable excitement. The US might be Ripple's heartland, but don't mistake their global ambitions. News from just days ago highlighted Ripple's vigorous growth in Singapore. But you, dear viewer, are an integral part of this journey. That like button, it's not just a thumbs up, it's a heartbeat, a pulse of this community. Don't let it fade. Hit it if you haven't and let our collective heartbeats resonate together. In the echoing words of Cindy Young, the UK is emerging as the beacon for crypto space investments in Ripple. They're laying the tracks, looking ahead, possibly even safeguarding themselves against any unseen storms. One can't help but wonder, does Ripple sense tremors that we're yet to feel? While XRP stands tall, the evolving crypto landscape teems with uncertainty. In a world where XRP stands strong and unwavering beacon, there's a shadow lurking. What if Ripple, along with countless fintech and blockchain pioneers, find themselves tethered, restrained, unable to soar because of encroaching crypto laws? Picture a world, not too distant, perhaps not even real, but a possibility. Imagine Ripple heavily reliant on decentralized exchanges, a world where they bridge the gaps between faceless entities. It's not the reality today, thanks to measures like anti-money laundering. But what if regulations tighten the noose? What if every digital handshake, every fleeting transaction needed to be inked and documented? For Ripple, the US might no longer be a haven. They might need to seek new shores, new beginnings. I can almost hear the whispers of my investor friends, their forebodings echoing. The US might be digging its own grave, poised to implode under the weight of its own regulations. As I was skimming through my recent readings, the words of Coinbase's CEO stood out like a stark prophecy, China will lead the crypto race. This isn't just a sentiment of a single CEO. This is the pulse of a changing world, with the US seemingly taking a back seat. With every tick of the clock, with every unfolding event, it feels as if Ripple might already be glimpsing the future. Maybe they're foreseeing the US's impending struggles, the regulatory walls closing in. Perhaps they're plotting a course to be one step ahead. Only time will reveal their true vision. Now shift your gaze to Ripple's interest in the world of CBDCs. I voiced my sentiments, my unease, time and again. CBDCs might be giants in their ecosystem, but are they truly our guardians? Or are they more like Goliaths, overpowering the very people they're meant to serve? It's reminiscent of tech evolutions like AI in the vast internet cosmos. Powerful, revolutionary, yet potentially a double-edged sword. In our quest for efficiency and rapidity, we might be trading depth for the surface. This age of technology has blessed us with so much, but sometimes it feels like we're losing the very essence of authenticity. Can you feel it too? The sheer decline in the richness of articles, the real human touch behind words fading into obscurity. Robots, algorithms, AI, their footprints are everywhere, and while they gift us with convenience, they take away the soul, the heart. You see, it's not just about efficiency, it's about the core of who we are. Take the Federal Reserve's move, likened to the construction of a financial death star by Warren Davidson. It's powerful, looming, and somewhat intimidating. Davidson's perspective on CBDCs as instruments of coercion and control sends chills down my spine. To think of money, which already wields so much power, turning into a tool of unchecked authority is daunting. And when he says, fire Gary Gensler, you feel the weight of that defiance, that plea for change. Now connect the dots. Ripple's strategic maneuvers in the UK, Ireland, and their potential ties to Montenegro and CBDCs. Could it be a beacon signaling something larger, something deeper? Ripple, a torchbearer in the crypto world, might be seeing beyond the present, preparing for a future uncertain and possibly challenging. Their alignment with CBCs, their drive to remain pivotal in Europe, all seem like parts of a bigger puzzle. And yes, while Ripple's legal quagmire might seem resolved, let's not be too hasty. In the labyrinth of regulations where Bitcoin ETFs still await a nod of approval, we're reminded of the sluggishness of legacy systems. BlackRock's endeavors with Bitcoin ETF might have ruffled 
some feathers, but did it bring about a monumental change? Not really. The undercurrents of manipulation, the persistent roadblocks, they're all still there. At times, it feels like we're walking through a hall of mirrors where every reflection presents a new possibility. The buzz around central bank digital currencies might be the current talk of the town, but it's just a fragment of the larger puzzle. And isn't it fascinating, almost poetic, that as we're busy discussing these digital possibilities, two major situations, the Fed now ripple lawsuit settlement and the larger-than-life debate around cryptocurrencies, find themselves intertwined so closely almost in a serendipitous dance. Now here's the irony. X, the platform that has the potential to redefine our financial ecosystem, launched its innovations just days after XRP, another game changer, wraps up its legal tangle. It's almost as if destiny is scripting a narrative where the heroes of our financial transformation emerge simultaneously, challenging the status quo. To me, it feels more than mere coincidence. It's a cosmic wink. But oh, the naysayers, they never tire. I often find myself caught in passionate discussions with individuals who warn about XRP's potential failure. To them, I respond with a calm acknowledgement. Yes, like all ventures, XRP could falter. But where are you observing it from? Through which lens? Coming back, let's talk about Bitcoin. When influential voices like Gary Cohn echo concerns over Bitcoin, claiming its system lacks transparency, one has to ponder. The world's been so eager to critique XRP, and yet XRP stands today with legal clarity that's unparalleled. While Ethereum and Bitcoin might currently be the market darlings, the future is uncertain. XRP, having weathered the fiercest of storms, now stands tall, awaiting its moment under the sun. I often wonder what would the landscape look like when regulations embrace XRP fully, leaving the others in murky waters. In the vast expanse of the cryptocurrency universe, there lies a pulsing rhythm, a heartbeat. Every few years, that rhythm surges, manifesting as the bull cycle we've all come to know. It's almost like clockwork, beautifully predictable and yet thrilling every single time. However, a year from now, when you retrace your steps back to this very moment on my channel, remember this. I have an unwavering faith in XRP. Yes, there have been storms, there have been crashes, prices have plummeted and soared, but through it all, the spirit of XRP has remained unbroken. Though its journey might be riddled with skeptics and naysayers, I wholeheartedly believe that in terms of gain in market cap, XRP will shine brighter than most in the upcoming bull market. Not just in percentage, but in impact. Now you might ask, what about the present? The ebbs and flows, the volatile dances of the prices. To that I say, it's all part of the grand design. Each dip, each trough is but a stepping stone, paving the way for a glorious ascent. And yes, there will always be skeptics, just like those who predicted Ripple's downfall only to watch it rise triumphant against all odds. However, patience, my friends, is the name of the game here. The intricacies of the short term might remain cloaked in mystery, but if you zoom out glimpsing the broader canvas, you'd see a masterpiece in the making. With each market shakeout, we're edging closer to an exhilarating bull scenario, likely peaking around 2024 to 2025. And I truly, deeply, passionately believe that XRP will be at the zenith of that peak. For the last decade, the crypto world has been my teacher, my guide. I've seen its tantrums, its highs, its lows. And with each cycle, I've armed myself with wisdom. To some, my predictions might sound ambitious, maybe even audacious, but they are rooted in years of observation and experience. Please remember, I am not a licensed financial advisor. The content presented in these videos is purely for entertainment purposes. I always encourage viewers to conduct their own research and consult with professionals before making any financial decisions. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you turn on the notifications to be the first to know when I release new content. I'm excited to catch up with you in the upcoming video. Take care.